Police say at about 7 p.m., three men burst into the business. Their motive was robbery, but it soon turned into murder. It was one of those seeds you don't forget because there's wailing involved. The store's been ransacked, the cash register and stuff like that. It appears that it's been a robbery that, that went bad. You know, my recollection is that the, the cash drawer is ajar. Uh, he's down, obviously injured. Plenty of people helping him already. But the main thing for me is, is to preserve for what possible evidence we have. You never forget it. It's reverberating out of the store, into the alley, and it's just a sound that you never, ever forget. Because you know that's, that's the sound of guttural human pain. You know, when you know your community, they always say you're more connected to your community, and that was the case with Men Grocery. In 1995, Mann is in his 30s, and he says that immediately he was very confident that Kim's killer would be caught. The problem he describes is that witnesses immediately went quiet. Nobody wanted to talk to police. This is just terrible. Very nice gentleman, very polite. Two types of people, those who love the police and won't talk to them, and those who hate the police and won't talk to them. The Kim family was very well known in what was then referred to as the Tacoma Portland Avenue Corridor. Min Grocery is still there today. The old sign is still there. It is under new ownership. As we found out, it's a family that over the last couple of decades had at least two bouts with very serious crime. The name of the robbery suspect has not been released. I cocked a gun and my mom pointed to uh, the guy that was driving away. That's when I fired. That's 15-year-old Min Kim, Jung Nam Kim's son. He's speaking to King Five in 1988. That's seven years before his father is murdered. Pretty amazing story. The teenager, he actually stops a robbery in progress. His mother was tending to the store when armed men came in. He grabbed his father's rifle, chased them out of the Min grocery store, shooting and hitting one of the robbers. I feel I did the right thing. Uh, my mom was out there and the guy had the gun out the window, so she would probably got hurt if I wasn't out there. Store regulars, men and women that knew the Kim family, will tell you that not much has changed since the mid 80s, the 90s. They say that the neighborhood is pretty much the same. Everybody's getting murdered and not getting investigated these days. It's like nobody cares anymore. It's gotten worse. It's gotten, I mean, only in Tacoma. What goes on here stays here, but it's gotten worse here. King Five made several attempts to contact the Kim family about this case, though their silence makes it clear that they want to move on and close this chapter. Yeah, just the introduction one more time. Okay. For Man, though, who was one of the first police officers on scene, it's clear that this case is very much still alive in his dreams and in his nightmares. It's just horrible to see a hardworking family make a business succeed and then to have these street level creatures take that all away from them. It, it's the opposite of the, the so-called American dream. <laughs>